Just because you're sorry doesn't mean you love me. I wish you could understand us. Hi guys, I have one hour before I have to leave my house. I'm getting ready to see my friends who came from Surgut to visit St. Petersburg for the May holidays. And we are going to one very interesting palace where I've never been before. There will be an excursion and also a classical music performance, which I'm also very excited about. So now I have to get ready quickly, also straighten my hair and head to the palace square. That's where we're gonna meet each other. I'm also really looking forward to go outside because I've been editing all day today and my head is about to explode, so I really need some fresh air. By the way, the video I'm working on right now, it's gonna release right after this one. It's a really must watch. It's about Altai and it's gonna be it's gonna be a really nice one, so you should definitely watch that. So now let me finish uh, quickly getting ready and finally meet my friends. I thought that I'd be stressed out But I've been doing just fine So please don't waste my time Just because you're sorry doesn't mean you love me I wish you could understand that Just because you're sorry doesn't mean you love me Why should I take you back? Hi my darling <laughs> I walk to the sun Peterbosk, the most popular city of the world. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, I already met my friends, as you can see, and now we're going to this theater to see the performance. So, see you guys later. We came to one of the most beautiful palaces in St. Petersburg, the Palace of Grand Duke Vladimir, that is located near the Hermitage. Our purpose for visiting was to attend a classical music concert featuring Vivaldi's famous masterpiece, The Four Seasons. But before the concert, we had a little excursion around this palace. We just finished our excursion. It was only 30 minutes long. I thought it would be one hour, but it's okay, it was enough. And I cannot say that I enjoyed it too much. I just wanted to go inside this palace and see how everything was inside, but the actual stories of the place, I never really enjoy. I just wanna see the interior and stuff. And now we are waiting for the concert to start. And that's what I'm excited about. A concert of classical music especially, I will always enjoy. So I already checked the interior. It looks just stunning. And I just hope that the concert itself will be just as good. <laughs> Hello guys, I had a really fun day yesterday and today will probably be even better because today I'm going to a football game. One of my friends invited me to join uh, her and her group of people 
to go to football with them so of course i said yes i don't think i've ever been to like the official football game ever in my life so it will be the first time for me and i'm not a football fan at all but i'm always up to doing some fun and new stuff and right now i'm gonna make tiramisu by the way it will be my first time ever making my own tiramisu because for some reason I always thought that tiramisu has like the most difficult recipe ever because back then it was difficult to find some of the ingredients like savoyardi cookies or mascarpone cheese but now we have it all in abundance so that will not be a problem and lately I've just been having this uh, obsessive idea that I have to make my own tiramisu I don't know why but <laughs> it happens with me sometimes so I will try to make it and uh, instead of mascarpone cheese, even though I found uh, many uh, varieties of it in the stores, I will use regular cream cheese. I saw in the recipes that they purposely use cream cheese instead of mascarpone cheese and I decided to also try it with um, cream cheese first and if I succeed, next time I will try with mascarpone cheese. And it's not going to be a very typical tiramisu recipe because I'm also going to add um, strawberry frozen strawberry, which I defrosted already. So I hope it's gonna turn out okay, semi-edible. And um, yeah, let's begin. At first, I'm gonna blend the strawberries with a little sugar, and then I'm gonna start making the cream. And uh, also for this recipe, I needed a heavy whipping cream that is at least 33% of fat, which I don't have. <laughs> I, instead, I'm gonna use this cream, which is only 15%. So <laughs> let's see, I guess. And instead of sugar for this recipe, I'm gonna use the powdered sugar. Part. I'm not exactly a fan of how it turned out, but hopefully with the rest of the ingredients it's gonna blend in very well and it's gonna be delicious. This is the cookies I'm gonna use and now I'm gonna dive them into the coffee. This is a very strong coffee with uh, one teaspoon of sugar, which I already prepared and chilled. This is not a tiramisu, guys, that's for sure. I messed up every step that I could possibly mess up. I put way too much cream, too little cookies, everything went wrong. This is not how it's supposed to look like on the top. And uh, now I need to put it in the fridge for a few hours. I will probably eat it right before I go to the game. And I need to put cocoa powder on the top but I will do it after I pull it out of the fridge so the cocoa butter is not gonna like, you know, melt and become very wet. But <laughs> yeah, I will let you know how it will taste. I'm already going to the game now. I did not have time to try tiramisu, so I will try it after I come back home. And it's still not ready to be eaten, that's why I We'll do it later. So, see you at the stadium. Now, to be able to attend a football game in Russia, you must register a fan ID on the Gosuslugi website. This is a portal for accessing various government services, which has become a central control mechanism for many aspects of life in Russia. I had to physically go to their offline center with my passport just to register my fan ID. Officially, this is for providing more security to the crowd. 
but it seems like the government is just trying to control things even more. But anyways, like in the best traditions of any sports event, we ate some unhealthy food before the game and made our way to the stadium. Before the game began, there was a performance by the famous Russian band Tattoo, whom you might have even heard of before. Overall, I had a great experience at my very first football game ever, and I wouldn't mind going again in the future. All right, what a day it was. I loved the game, even though I'm not a football fan, it was still really fun to be there and experience it the first hand. And now it's finally time to try our cake. <laughs> I'm really excited, I've been craving it all day today. Let's just powder it with a coca powder and taste it. And now it looks more like tiramisu, so let's do it. It looks beautiful. It's actually pretty good. It's honestly way better, way, way better than I thought it would be. It tastes almost excellent. And I'm really proud of myself, but still, next time I will try to make it with a real mascarpone cheese instead of just the cream cheese. So, I'm happy. <laughs> Hi guys, I met with my friends again today and today I'm gonna show them the best places of St. Petersburg and we're gonna start with Pushichna. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Let's go to <laughs> I'm <ready> eating. <laughs> More? What? More? 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 Yes. Пусть развивается не моей number two. Sasha is gonna try uh, pushkas from here and tell which one is the best. Ну как? Which one is the best? Скажи да, да, да. <laughs> now we came to Yusupovsky Sad. St. Petersburg is so beautiful at this time of the year when the greens just start to appear, everything is blooming. And especially when your friends are visiting you. Staring at the window on a cloudy morning, trying to lick her wounds while the tea is warming. Sometimes it's like a bird has never shipped out. Sometimes you go around and I never run the rail. This week has been a mess, but I'm gonna tell you. We're a bit at work, gonna make it brand new. Right now we came to one of my favorite places in St. Petersburg, it's called Simimostia. It's a special place, kind of, where from one spot from here you can see seven bridges at the same time and uh, you gotta make a wish, count all seven bridges and uh, your wish will come true. <laughs> but that's not why I love this place, I just think it's one of the most stunning scenery of St. Petersburg. And if they won't be today, I'm the shoulder you After Simimosti, we decided to head over to New Holland Island. I have a full video on my channel about this unique location, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. As we arrived on the island, I showed my friends around and shared some information about its rich history. New Holland Island was once a naval base before being converted into a cultural hub. 
So we spent some time wandering around the island and then went further in the direction of St. Isaac's Cathedral. We just met Sonia and my mom. They decided to join us uh, right next to St. Isaac's Cathedral and we all are gonna go up to the colonnade right now. This can take a while But it's gonna be a right girl this is already my third time going to the top of the colonnade, and every time I discover something new here. St. Petersburg is especially stunning from above, and I really like the view of its rooftops, squares and streets. I previously only visited this colonnade during the winter, but now that it's warm and sunny, I enjoy being here even more, and I have a feeling that I'll be coming here more often this summer. Sasha is a little bit of shock. Fuck <laughs> <Well>, you! <laughs> I've ridden this boat before, but it's always very exciting. We're gonna ride for 1 hour and 20 minutes. The ride was 600 rubles, because we got a deal. It's supposed to be a little cold, so I'm all prepared for that. And I'm really excited for the first ride of the season. Everyone who visits St. Petersburg must take a riverboat ride to see the city from the water. So we decided to take a ride as well. It's a completely different experience from walking around the city. For example, when you travel along the river and pass under the bridges that you usually walk across, you perceive the city in a completely different way. It's almost like being a tourist in your own hometown. So whether you're a local or a visitor, a riverboat tour is a great way to get to know the city better. Welcome to another day, guys. Today our family decided to go out to one of the parks and we're gonna organize shashliks. This is actually a very popular tradition during the holidays and especially during this season to go somewhere in the nature, in the parks, in by the river, in the forest and organize shashliks. We chose one of the parks in St. Petersburg, the one we always go to for this reason. And we also invited my friends who are visiting from Surgut. Tonight they're going back to Surgut, so hopefully they will join us for a little while. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna have um, family and friends outing in the nature. And I'm inviting you to join us as well. We are preparing the charcoal right now. Today is gonna be simple. We're not gonna do the picnic like we normally do it with a job sandali and abundance of so much food no today is gonna be simple we're only gonna have two types of meat since we are in the park and we are limited with our actions it's just gonna be very very simple but very nice here's our little spot we got a really nice place in this park just hidden from the main crowd a bit further away from the water because it's windy there and we're hiding by the little tree. It's nice, I like it. As you can see, we are not the only ones who are organizing barbecue in the park, especially today. It's holidays in Russia. Everybody is either in the center celebrating or in the nature preparing shishliks. 
This is the park near the house where we used to live before we moved to our apartment. And we still go here sometimes because it's quite far from the city center. There's not that many people and the territory is big. And it's just a very appropriate location for activities like this. You see, people keep coming for shashliks. <laughs> we have two types of meat today. Here is chicken and pork. I don't eat pork just because I don't like it. And shashlik is the only condition I can eat pork. Unfortunately, in Russia, we don't make shashlik out of beef. That's why I'm eating uh, the pork shashlik because it's the only way for me to enjoy it. And uh, chicken shashlik is not as good as the one made out of pork. I'll trade my pillow for your company. You know I'd find the window of opportunity to paint a rainbow of silk and call it serendipity. Кстати, дорогие подписчики, вам не знать, но я собираюсь завести второй канал, посвященный сельскому хозяйству. Буду рассказывать, как мы собственноручно вырастили помидорчики, огурцы, зеленушку, и у нас уже поспевают баклажаны, и вот мы думаем развести бахчу, чтобы арбузы разводить в воду. Это очень хорошая идея, прибыльное дело. Также там можно выращивать тыни, тыквы, кабачки тоже. Вот кабачки планируем. Малинник недавно выстрелил. Here is our little table. It's a celebration, so I lift you off the ground. Not only me falling the side around. The ocean glows like we're in a movie. As you can see, we met our friends Sasha, Vika. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I will not do this mistake again. Thank you so much, Alexander. Now we are preparing the second round of meat. We had the same gig in life. Now I know too much has been said. I take myself on adventure instead to build a new way of life. Me and my mom are kind of tweeting today. Alex, what are you doing? Что, пойдём? А им жарю хлеб. Bread, bread. Что, барам кафуешь? Alex, а ты? All right, guys. Thank you for watching this vlog till the end. I'm ending this video right here. It was an incredible couple of days that I will remember for a very long time. And we're just gonna finish our shashlik party. And um, that is it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.